another uh, tough game that goes down to the end. How are you guys feeling at this point? Um, I feel like we are competing, but you, we just have to be able to finish the games because I feel we can beat everybody in the Pac-12. We just need to finish those games and get better and rebounding, taking care of the ball. Yeah, um, we definitely been competing. Uh, it's just at times in the game we go in stretches where we don't score and we let the other team go on their runs. But I think that we def we are competing, but we're not experienced enough in that area. When it comes down to like we're a couple points away, like we're not experienced like as Oregon State or Oregon. And, and this one, you know, Oregon's everybody picked them to win the national championship. I know that they're number two and they lost the other night, and they're they can be vulnerable at times. Um, to to play them as tough as you did, what kind of a statement does this send to the rest of the Pac-12 and to the nation? That we can compete with anybody. Don't overlook us. Uh, our defense definitely keeps us in games. Uh, we are physical, and we just like to lock teams down. I feel like we have the best one of the best defensive teams in the country. So it doesn't matter if you play against Oregon or, or like any other team in the Pac-12 that's going to show. Playing against their length, their size? Uh, it's a little difficult. Uh, I know that in the beginning of the game, we found, we found holes in their zone. And then they kind of adjusted, and you know they were really clogging it. And they were sagging and clogging it, which made it harder for us to see. Yeah. Lou, you came up with a couple big points, a big three at the top of the key when your team needed it. <coughs> you keep grinding away. Um, what? You know, how did it feel when you, you know, your team needs that and, and you're closing up, trying to close out and mm -hmm. get that three-pointer? I mean, I, f I try to stay ready always. And, I mean, I, if I can help my team, that's amazing. Gary, the camera showed you shooting jumpers at like 6 a.m. this morning. Was that because you were coming off a tough shooting night or did you just know how important this game was and how well you needed to play? Both. Uh, I've kind of been in a shooting slump and I know that one way to get out of shooting some is just to keep shooting and just being confident. And I think I came out confident in this game. How would you describe the <coughs> overall physical part of the game? It was very physical. Um, one of the emphasis of the game, Coach Barnes told us to be physical with Oregon. Mm -hmm. And I think that helped. Yeah. <laughs> and they were also physical with us a little bit. But, I mean, that was definitely a factor in the game. Getting tired in that second quarter, it, it looks like maybe you're getting back. Uh, some of you were getting back a little bit slow. Was it was it hard? I don't. I don't think we were tired. I just think that we were not communicating, and that's a big factor on defense. Like we need to communicate. We need to know where shooters are at all time. I don't even myself. I made an error. Uh, I rotated too far down, and they got a three. So I know it was just communicating at that and just locking in on defense. Seems like it always the same thing. Like, you know, it plays at a really high level, and you guys are playing really well. And then there's another point in the game where you just kick it up a notch. Sort of what was the today? What I know you kept you just kept going, and then there was that big run I think in the third quarter where you got Ruthie to travel a couple times that they called it, and. Um, and you made big stops on there, which also obviously helps your your offense. And so, what was again the what was it today that helped you kick it up to that extra tough notch that you do? We know that to stay in the game with Oregon, you have to get stops because Oregon wants to outscore you. So definitely, the key was to get stops. We know they're going to score, but you can't give up. You got to have confidence. Just trust in your defense abilities. Did you guys feel love? Did you see that Ruthie and, and, and uh, the other forward, they seemed to get frustrated when that backside help when you come from behind and slap the ball when, you know, when they were on the box out too. Did you feel the frustration on, on their part? I didn't feel frustration. I just knew that they were a little worried about like turning the ball over our traveling. So, you know, anything to get my teammates stops or extra possessions, like I'm all for it. Anything else? Thank you.